Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. Good God, we could have a massacre on our hands tonight. Can The Rock get his title back when he takes on both McMahons in the main event? God, let's get this show on the go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. The massacre begins. We are kicking things off. D-Generation X with an invisible Billy Gunn. God damn it, 2K. And wait, what the? Go away. Battle crowds. I have not. I'm going to, you know what? Here's a quick thing. I have not bothered downloading that game because, oh my God, I read the reviews for it and it apparently is completely broken. Does not work. Crashes all the time. Thank God I didn't touch it. Waste of money from what I've read. So thank God I didn't touch it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen. Look, Billy Gunn. That ass just appeared out of nowhere. Well, it's six-man tag team action to open the show tonight. We have got two handicap matches tonight. Can The Rock win the championship back when he faces Vince and Shane McMahon? And of course, this new ministry. It's not the first time we'll see them tonight either. As Undertaker and Kane will challenge the other half of DX, Shawn Michaels and Triple H for the WWF Tag Team Championships. And this new ministry. Mark Henry on your right. Big Bradshaw on your left. And of course, the newly named Dark Dust in the middle. I threw this entrance together pretty quickly. I think it's shabby, if I say so myself. I will always give myself credit. Ego. Got to feed it. Oh, I don't know why I'm so hyped right now, but who cares? That just makes it more entertaining. Until we have a six-man tag that will probably end up lasting half another. Oh, look at the banner I made in the apron. Sexy. And here we go, Bradshaw and Bradshaw, man. Shades of Farouk with that big one-handed spine buster. And well, it was an eight-man... Ah, was that an eight? Ah, it was an eight-man tag we had on Rock, trying to remember. <laughs> and of course, it was Road Dog that got the win for DX in that match. As, well, look at Bradshaw, man, wasting no time straight to the corner here. Turnbuckle padded is off. And Bradshaw, man, with a kick right to the face. Undertaker and Kane will challenge for the tag titles later tonight. As I says, multiple handicap matches tonight when Stone Cold Steve Austin takes on the Radicals, man. Three on one. Now, I do not know how Austin, the Royal Rumble winner... He wants to get payback on the Radicals. And then, of course, he will be watching very carefully. Is he facing the Rock at WrestleMania? Is he going to be facing Shane McMahon? <laughs> or Vince McMahon, who knows? You never know what could happen. And there's the tag, getting Billy Gunn in. He'll be able to match Bradshaw a bit better here. Ah, he's into the tie-up. Mr. Ass goes behind. Oh, that sounded wrong. And, oh, Bradshaw snaps him down. And, oh, that big knee right to the back. This new ministry that is formed. They hope to get their first gold tonight. Undertaker and Kane looking to bring the tag team gold to the ministry. As the newly reformed D-Generation X, of course, a couple of months ago. Shawn Michaels got the band back together with Triple H. X-Pac popped back up a month ago at the Rumble. And it was only the other week that the Outlaws officially got back together. And DX is fully strong once again as Road Dogg, the man who got the pinfall in the match this past week on Raw is what? Goes behind and a Russian leg sweep takes down Bradshaw. As Mark Henry and Dark Dust screaming for the tags there. Bradshaw though, not made a tag yet. 
He's had a goal. All three men from DX. There's Road Dog, very smart. Gets him over to the corner. As Bradshaw though with a big DDT. Bradshaw getting right back onto the road dog here. He's got to send him right into his corner. And there's the tag. World's strongest man. And as Bradshaw holds him in the corner, Mark Henry gets a shot right in the gut. And a big smack right back into the corner. Now he makes a quick tag to Gold Dust. Dark Dust, sorry. Holds him in the corner again. And another big shot. God, what an uppercut. And that little quick succession of double team just went so far there as Road Dog over the top drops a DDT. There's a fast succession of moves and tags there. Road Dog was very smart to quickly get out of it. And Road Dog. That might be going for another DDT there. Looks like it might be going for a suplex. And no, drops him down. Face first, eat the canvas. Road Dog really needs to get out of that corner, man. Not an ideal place to be at all. As Goldust, and oh, I thought he was going to punch him in the face there, right in the gut. As Bradshaw and Road Dog, man. Oh, God, just took Bradshaw off the apron. As Road Dog now laying the jabs at the Dark Dust here. As Road Dog, little shake, and down goes Dark Dust. Falls into the cover here. One, one it is, and Bradshaw, man, not happy after what happened there, as look at Mr. Ass sends Bradshaw right into the corner, as, and look at Road Dog Jesse James getting a cheap shot in on Bradshaw here, and, oh, Bradshaw, Bradshaw, and Bradshaw pushes him down, and that's given... Dark Dust a chance to get up to his feet here. See those jabs definitely done the bit on him as... Oh! Shades of Edge there. <laughs> little edge matic Gold Dust now. Up to that middle rope. What's he thinking here? As... Oh! And missed with the axe handle. But he's straight back onto him as he fires him right back into the corner. And Bradshaw there probably should have kept his hands to himself. Now there's the tag. Bradshaw putting that big boot up there. And Road Dog gets his head bounced right off it. Road Dog's crawling over Bradshaw though. Making sure he cannot make that tag. As Bradshaw with a... Oh, God, man, that big neck breaker there. And wait a minute, Bradshaw, wait in the corner. I completely forgot about that exposed turnbuckle. And he might be calling for a big clothesline from hell. And, man, Road Dog could be out if someone doesn't split this here as Mr. Ass is in and breaks it. As, look at, and Gold Dust, a little smack on Mr. Ass there. Well, that match, this match, could have been over there. Mr. Ass was able to break that. Road Dog is... And Road Dog gets the boot up there. As Road Dog scoops him up and drops him down with a knee breaker. And God, man... Road Dog there, I actually looked away there and completely missed that there. I think he done his finish on that, I just completely missed it. <laughs> oh man, I'm an idiot. Well, Road Dog goes and makes the tag. And now X Pack in for the. And big knee there. This rivalry between the Ministry. And DX says, watch out for Dark Dust here. As, oh dear God, man, what the hell? <laughs> and good God, no wonder x Pack's lying like that. He just gets sent to space. And x Pack is down, man. Dark Dust 
with some supernatural pebbles there. Look at X Pack, like you doing. And X Pack up, Bradshaw up, and X Pack with a shot there. Scoops him up, and the atomic drop. They felt that one. X Pack's not done, he's going to do it a second time. And oh, and he rolls to the outside there, ring awareness. As he gets right back in, sends Pack right into the corner. And there's the tag. Get Dark Dust back in now. As the double team again, man. They're really good at keeping it in the corner, keeping it for them. As now, and oh, there's an atomic drop for him. See how he likes it. As Pack now jumps over. And there's the hot tag. And Mr. Ass is in. And a drop kick. Billy Gunn takes him down. Straight back over. And, and oh, an X Factor. An X Factor. <laughs> Using his buddy's move. As now goes behind here. And shades there of a one billy gun. And he goes right into the cover here. What a way to get the win this would be. But Bradshaw, man, with the axe handle to the back of the head. Breaks the pin. And, <laughs> and that ass is on fire. He just took Bradshaw off the apron. As Dark Dust try to get to his feet here. And the famous sir connects as he throws him over. He hooks the leg. Mark Henry is in though, and John Mark Henry just clobbered the referee. God, man, it's starting a show. We are off already. I actually think Dark Dust might be bleeding, but it's quite hard to tell. A big shot there, and getting the world's strongest man back in. And he's right onto the back of Mr. Ass here as he just throws him right into his own corner. How ballsy can you be? God, he switches that very quickly. And, oh God, where the hell are you going with him? As dope. And he kicks him off. He's the top rope. And a missile drop kick just floors Mark Henry. As now... He sends the world's strongest man into the corner. And it looks like they're thinking double team of their own now. Road Dog got up to that middle rope. And oh, shot right to the arm there. As Road Dog lying him on the ropes and using the rope to shoot him to the ground. That's one way to do it, I suppose. And now gets him with a DDT. And he tags Mr. Ass back in. Probably not the smartest thing in the world. And oh, he headbutted Mark Henry. That's ballsy. Look at his shots. But oh, when he got caught that time though. And God again with the headbutts, man. All right, he's just starting to, to piss him off a little bit. As he sends him right into the corner. And there's the tag and dart this back in here now. He's the one using his foot. The double team from the ministry, man. They have done a lot of it. And, oh God, man. Look, dart that is just creepy when he does things like this. Got him here and a shot right to the leg there. You take out the leg of Mr. Ash. You take away the famous, sir. A big right hand there it is. Wait a minute. He's got up here, going to drop him right in the back of his head. Hooks the leg here right in their own corner. But, oh, that ass still has power. He kicked out of that one there. As he scoops under and a big back body drop. And now, and he goes behind now. And the one Billy Gunn strikes again. Not going for a cover though, man. That could be a mistake. Man. Why can't all six bads be like this, man? Really back and forth. He's on to him here. Go for a DDT, but oh, a big knee to the gut there. And a jawbreaker, man. Billy Gunn really knows how to use his head in this one. It's a kick under, and he's going to 
famous -er. again to Dark Dust. That's the second time he's been famous -er. Twice the pain, twice the fame. As he's dragging him right over to the corner here. As he hooks the leg, hoping to get it in his corner. x pack tries to take him out. And he's down. And DX gets the victory. A huge victory for D-Generation X as they trump the ministry once again. Oh, man. Bradshaw had the match won. When he took, he took Road Dog out with this man. Absolutely took him out. And oh man. Billy Gunn had the match won. Earlier with a famouser. But he won it with a second famouser. And D-Generation X, the reunited DX, trumps the ministry just like they did on Raw's War this past Monday night. They'd done it again. And DX, the Outlaws, X-Pac, standing tall as a unit once again, even though Billy Gunn has the face of a shovel. Well, okay, let's get to our first championship of the night. So, ladies and gentlemen, the build to this match, if you haven't seen it, Chris Jericho, the former Intercontinental Champion, cut Angle for a random reason, just no idea if it was just jealousy or what. He cost Chris Jericho the Intercontinental Championship. And well, now Chris Jericho is going to challenge Cut Angle tonight, and he's aiming to take his European Championship to replace his lost gold. Chris Jericho hoping to get the gold tonight but I think he would rather just stick it to cut angle because we will see the Intercontinental Championship on the line tonight as well as here he comes the only Olympic gold medalist the European champion two time European champion now <laughs> And now, well, anyway, Cut Angle cost him the Intercontinental Championship. Jericho plans on replacing his lost gold with Cut Angle's gold. As I say, I don't even think it's about taking a European Championship. I think Jericho just wants to whip Cut Angle up and down this ring. He wants some payback. As here we go. As both men and Angle gets a quick uppercut there, a European uppercut by the European champion. And oh, and Jericho, and Jericho with a rake to the eyes, man. A bit of a dirty move to start with as Jericho scoops him right up and power bombs him. And right into a choke. And Jericho would say he was a bit PO'd, man, but I don't think he was going to take it literally. And Kurt with a jawbreaker there, a bit of. Desperate now. Did he just go for a super kick? And oh, big shot to the back of the head, man. As I said, Jericho, he's wanting to get his hands on him as he's going right to the lower back there. Could be setting up for the walls of Jericho later. As Kurt quickly under sends him into the corner. Pulls him back out and Lariat, man, just about takes his head off. And the hell is Kurt Angle going now? Match has only just started. Kurt's on the top rope. He's waiting for Jericho to get to his feet here. This is unknown territory for Cut Angle. Who flies off, gets caught in a huge power slam. And Jericho there. Quick stomp. Going for a DDT. Cut Angle with a knee right out of it. Scoops him up again. Trying to go for the overhead. Jericho again catches out. Gets him this time. Plants the DDT this time. And Cut Angle rolling to the outside. And cuts back in. Whoa, swoops right under. And a German suplex. God, this match is great. <laughs> and Jericho back to his feet as, whoa, scoops right up by the legs. And smashes him right in, man. Proper wrestling takedown there. 
And no cut angle with the Irish whip. Big forward arm just floors him there. And cut. And go oh, get to the leg, the ankle. And Kurt feeling pretty confident right now. And now sends him over the ropes. Holds on and God oh, just fired him off the apron. And what's Kurt doing now? Wanting him on his feet here on the ring apron. And cut, cut, and good God, cut angle. Oh my God. That is not something you see Cut Angle do. It's not something I think I've ever seen Cut Angle do. A springboard cross body to the outside. And now drops Jericho face first right onto the ring apron. Man, there seems to be some kind of hatred just building between these guys. And God, my heel kick by Jericho. Count of seven here, Jericho can't win the title on a count out. Gets back into the ring here. As he stomps under. And oh, went for another one. Cut low back to the feet. Jericho caught him. Big right hand. As he fires him right into the corner. As Jericho now got him up high. And Jericho looking for something bigger here. Looks like he might be going for a big belly to back. Suplex. Super right into the middle of the ring. Good God, man. Both men giving it everything they've got right now. And oh, it's the neck wrench. Oh, it's the first one of the night. We told you it would be a massacre, and it's not a massacre until you get a neck wrench. Oh, no, cut angles out of it. And oh, what a right hand off the jaw there. As whoa, Jericho, though, just scoops him right up onto the shoulders. As, and oh, now it's his turn to drop a snake eyes. And we've got to stomp into cut here. Cut though, catching the foot. And swings it under face first right into the ring canvas. And cut goes behind. And again, we're German suplex. He holds on to it this time though. And it's a second German. And a third German. And cut angle. Just laid the Germans in. As, oh, oh, went for, went for the ankle there. Jericho, though, saw it coming. Jericho kicks him down. And Jericho right back onto him, choking him again. As Jericho now got him up. Good for another power bomb. This time he's holding on to it. Old school right here. And up again for a third one. Cut Angle might have three German suplexes. And he's going for it. And the Lion Tamer. The Lion Tamer's in. He can't reach the ropes. The Lion Tamer's locked in. But oh, Cut. And Cut able to get out of it. Oh, good God there. Those three power bombs followed by the Lion Tamer. Almost done it perfectly. As Jericho knocks him down and... God goes out of your cover. No wonder after the damage he just dished out. But God, Cut Angle just pushes him right off. Yeah, these two are setting the bar for tonight. And oh, right hand. And Cut scoops behind. And oh, the Olympic slam. The Olympic slam. He hooks the leg. One, two. And oh, just like that, Cut Angle retains the European Championship. Just like that. Oh my god, man. He landed these bombs, man, and he went straight into the Lion Tamer. But Kurt caught him right out of nowhere. The Olympic Slam. Or the Angle Slam, whatever you prefer to call it. Oh, man. This was non-stop from start to finish. And Cut Angle retains the European Championship. Is it an omen of things to come? Will belts change hands tonight? We know the People's Champion most certainly hopes so. I'm sure Austin wouldn't mind if Shane McMahon retained the title.
But good God, two matches in, man. Pretty entertaining. But to me, Jericho and Angle just set the bar for tonight. What a match. Very entertaining there. Probably enjoyed that one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Intercontinental Championship coming up next. Well, okay. From one singles title to another. And well, we all, we now know. How did Albert get this shot where did this magical title match come from well we now know after this past week on raw after the rock spent the night attacking shane mcmahon all night long albert jumped the rock right at the end of the night as the rock was leaving the building attacked him backstage brought him to the ring so that shane mcmahon could deliver that flying elbow drop right through the announcer's table and obviously, Albert was told, you get a title match, you watch our backs. You see Boss Man out here. Safe to say, Albert is now part of the corporation. But don't forget, Albert tried to sneak attack Godfather two weeks ago, and that didn't work out. He ran in through the crowd, slid into the ring, tried to attack the Godfather. The Godfather picked him up and pimp dropped him in the middle of the ring. So it did not work out as well as he would have liked. As here comes the Godfather. And he is not alone. And well, that wasn't me. And the Godfather dancing his way down to the ring. As well, wait a minute, looks like Albert. Making his way up here, and oh! Watch out here, boss man trying to get involved as well, and golly, dropped him too! And then Godfather, with his championship belt, is in the ring. And look at the state of these two! And they're in the ring now. As Godfather. And go oh, a big shot there. And oh god, big knee. And oh Godfather though able to get with that one. And a big DDT there. As the Godfather. And on him here. As he catches Albert here. Right in there, a small package here. Oh, not getting caught that easily. God, man, these shots. Godfather is a striker, man. He knows how to do some damage. And Godfather, shot right to the gut there. And he's going to launch him right across the ring. I think he just landed on the Intercontinental Championship. He goes up behind here, Godfather. Albert gets behind. As Godfather catches him again. Another small package. Oh, Godfather, man, he knows. He's not stupid. He sees he sees that big lump boss man in the outside. His guy just flattened him in the corner there. The referee trying to get rid of that championship. See what you want, man. The Godfather has been on a roll lately as a huge Uranagi just lands. So up and down he goes again. As Albert switches him out. Go on into the corner. As the Godfather now. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Here comes the whole train. And down goes Albert. And the Godfather is in full control right now.
Looks like he was thinking about using that Intercontinental Championship, but he put it down. And instead, he's got a pimp drop. God, he just dropped Albert right on his head. The pimp drop. That Death Valley driver. As he's dragging him right out of the corner here. And the Godfather hooks the leg. And a oh, come on. And the bloody boss man. Oh, he's went and grabbed that belt. Looks like he's ready to use it. There's no point winning in DQ. There's a godfather waiting for Albert to turn around here. And, oh! Throws him down. As, whoa, catches him. Small package. Again, the small package. One. And a two and all. Oh. And now, up on the shoulders here, a huge scoop slam. God, sends him right into the corner. He's getting rid of that steel chair. Guys. Oh, and... Oh! And Godfather's had this match won. And a big shot there and a big knee. And then Godfather. And oh, look at the boss man. Oh yeah, what the hell's with that? And, oh, that's one way to take him down. And, good God, and the Godfather going after the boss man here. And, jeez, he just floored him. And, And they're fighting in the crowd. They need to get back to the ring. And good God, what's going on? Right, a count of seven here. There's both men back in the ring. As, and, oh, Godfather! Come up the shoulders again! And the pimp drop! For a second time! Hooks the leg! One! Two! And the Godfather retains! Just like that! Second then, I thought we were going to get a double count out. See, Godfather had this match won. This pimp drop right here. Big boss man pulled the referee out of the ring. And look at that boss man. Got a smack for it. And look, oh, can't see that. And then Godfather, just like cut angle. That is two for two. And the title match retains. And then Godfather is still... The Intercontinental Champion. He has became one of my favourite people in this game, man. <laughs> really has. Ever since that stuff with Cut Angle at the start. Oh, so good. So good. Well, that's two for two in the retains. Shane McMahon might be feeling lucky. Well, okay, here we go. It's time for this to continue. The next round of Ministry versus the Degenerates.
Bradshaw, Mark Henry and Dark Dust failed against X-Pac, Road Dog, and Mr. Ass, Billy Gunn. But now the leader, or co-leaders, I have no idea, Undertaker and Kane aim to take the tag team gold from Shawn Michaels and Triple H. This new ministry. Oh, you take too long. Well, if there's one man that's got history here, it's definitely Shawn Michaels and The Undertaker. A rivalry that goes way back. Thankfully, the stuff between Triple H and Kane hasn't happened yet, so Katie Vick hasn't happened, thankfully. Well, and Shawn Michaels' title's invisible, still more problems. And well, here we go. Shawn Michaels in the colours, Triple H not. <laughs> There's one thing about this ever since they got back together, Triple H has uh, not necessarily been rocking the DX colours. To be fair, we've all felt a bit of friction going on between them. Which Triple H wants to be champ. It's that simple. Undertaker and Kane just looking at each other, not even talking. It's as if they know. Mindset, match plan, beat the holy hell out of the other guy. Now, here we go. And Shawn Michaels got to start this one off. And God, Shawn Michaels went down off an uppercut. And Kane goes into the cover here. That would have been hilarious, man. That might have beat the Taz one. And, oh, God. And a big boot, man. God, Shawn Michaels. We've mentioned the ring rust, man, all the way back to the Royal Rumble when it didn't look too clever. And he was in the ring with a rock as Michaels gets a boot up. Kane, though, just goes right behind again. As he grabs a hold of Michaels here and God just folded him in half. As Kane now throws up, oh, pulls him back. Jesus, another huge uppercut. He drops the elbow. And God, a second one. Michaels is down already. Michaels is getting whooped here, and God, sent to the outside. Sean Michaels, man, he needs to do something here, man. This is pretty much as one-sided as somebody could get. As Michaels with a knee. And oh, he got caught there, and God, man. Kane carrying him to the ring here. As Kane and drops him face first. Count of five now. As Michaels though able to push him off back into the ring. As Kane. And God. And he makes the tag to Triple H. And Triple H, man, caught instantly. Kane hasn't even made a tag as Triple H. Oh! That's one more move than Shawn Michaels has done. Give him that much. As Triple H lifted Kane up, but Kane just... Out of it, look, it was nothing, and it looks like Undertaker. Going to get in on the action. As Don Kane, man, just took the opportunity for a cheap shot there. And Shawn Michaels still down on the outside, not even up on the apron yet.
And man, oh man. Let's look at Undertaker with these strikes, man. And God, and he just took Michaels out. My God, this is almost hard to watch how one-sided this is. These are main eventers here. And it looks like there's only two main eventers in this. And a big boot. It's Undertaker. And, oh, right to the back of the head. Good God, man. It's Undertaker now. Twisted at the arm here. He's going to the ropes. It's not necessarily old school. Do we just call it school? As... Oh, God. And Triple H. And Triple H, man, going to make a tag here. I think he's had enough. And, well, they both make tags. And, God, man, straight away, Michaels is down again. And a shot for Triple H. And Michaels, God. Sean Michaels, man. Good God. As Kane signals to his brother. And round the throat of Sean Michaels. As Michaels now. Down he goes. Choke slam from hell. Not going for the cover though. And God man, down goes H again. As Michaels is up. Going into the middle of the ring and the tombstone pile driver and Shawn Michaels. God, man. And oh! And Michaels. And Michaels. And God, he just gets slapped right back down. Look at Michaels, man. Where did that kick out come from? And Jesus. That DDT, did you see the way Shawn Michaels fell? This is just. Undertaker's just bullying him right now. Ever seen such one sidedness? And Michaels, and Michaels giving it everything he's got, but everything he's got just isn't enough. And Michaels again. As Undertaker. God, man. This is a beatdown, and I'm starting to think Undertaker doesn't have a choke slam. God, man, these shots. I can't believe this. The one sidedness of this match. And, God, man, down he goes again. And 
Now Undertaker and Kane are the two men in the ring right now. As God, man, look at the double team happening here. As the snake eyes. A door. It's Shawn Michaels. Michaels. And God, man. His Undertaker. And. Ah! Oh no! And Kane! Must have been blinded. He just choke slammed his own bloody brother. I don't think Kane realised what he just done. He choke slammed his own brother. He's got Michaels now, who's still getting beaten about like a little bitch. His Undertaker shouts at him, get your ass over here. He's a little pissed off at that, can you blame him? As it looks like Undertaker. Thinking choke slam now. It's Kane round the back door. It's Triple H isn't watching. He's not watching. There's a pin in the ring. Oh, and Shawn Michaels again. And what world is Michaels actually pulling this off? He's just got a look at his face as if, how? Oh my God, you'd think it was fucking impossible to do a goddamn double team move in this game, I swear to God. As Undertaker and Kane got a double choke slam this time. And Triple H blasted off the apron. The double choke slam. Twice the move, twice the power. And God! And Michaels continuing to keep fighting. It's Michaels! And God, man! Where is he getting it from? It's Kane. God, what a shot right to the head. Good God, man. And another big DDT. And Kane now, who must be tired as well. And Kane on the top rope, you usually know what this means. He's got to fly, and fly he does. And God, man. And it looks like Undertaker and Kane have just had enough of this. As Kane lifts him up, but... Michaels! Michaels! Over the back! And he just tombstoned Kane! He tombstoned Kane! Can you believe it? And, oh, but Kane! Out of it, just like that! And, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. He might be going. 
He's got to tune the band. He's tuning the band. Can he do it? And oh, nobody home. As Owen oh, Michaels. And oh, ho, 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 ho. and Michaels. He got lifted up for a sidewalk slam. He was able to get out of it. And a drop kick. And Michaels. I thought he was going sharp shoot. He went figure four. The figure four's locked in now. He needs to make a tag so badly. And the tag is made. It's Undertaker's in the ring. And Doe. And a big DDT. And God, Triple H is busted open. It's Michaels. And Doe. And he brings him back into the ring. And these guys are just... God! Just wait a minute. Undertaker's got a chair. A doll! He never saw it. The referee never saw it! The steel chair was used! It's both men! Triple H is moving slightly somehow! After being hit with a steel chair! How did the referee not see it? And oh! He took Michaels out! Triple H wanted to make a tag. It's Triple H now trying to get to Kane. And oh! And Kane sees that open wound and he's not going to hesitate. He's going straight for it. Oh my God, man. The match has been so heavily one sided. Shawn Michaels has shown the heart that got him to where he is. Triple H is busted open. As well as Kane going. Oh, as Michaels was able to catch him there. As Kane though. Triple H caught him! Skips him up! And a pale driver! As he gets up, and oh, he catches Triple H! And oh, the sidewalk slam! And both men lying out. Triple H has got the crimson mask, as good old JR would call it. Blood has fell down onto the inside of his thigh as Kane is getting to his feet first. Triple H is moving to. Back. And oh! It's Kane now on the shoulders, over, and the tombstone. And oh, Undertaker takes out Michaels. And God, that done it this time. My God, this match from went from being one-sided. Give an assist to a steel chair because Triple H was out of it after that. How did Shawn Michaels kick out of so much? How did he not do it against the Rock at the Rumble? God, Shawn Michaels was a punching bag and he managed to get a sharp shooter in. But God, The Undertaker, just as Michaels looked like he was fighting back, he took care of that. And then right here, he managed to tombstone Kane. And Kane kicked out of it instantly. 
Shawn Michaels kicked out of the choke slam, the tombstone, a double choke slam. Triple H didn't have the same luck, but unlike Shawn, oh god, the referee's out. <laughs> Can't blame him. But uh, Shawn Michaels didn't receive what Triple H received in that match, and that was a chair shot to the head. And the referee didn't see it. And the Ministry of Darkness. The rest, the other three might have lost tonight, but these, th these three, these two, have just won gold. Tag Team Gold. Undertaker and Kane are now the WWF Tag Team Champions. Well, so much for everyone retaining their titles tonight. We just crowned new champions for the first time tonight. Oh well, titles, titles, titles. As Jacqueline hopes to win back her women's championship that she lost at the Royal Rumble last month. She aims to win it back tonight. Well, she wasn't pinned in that match. It was Ivory that was pinned in the triple threat. <laughs> and this woman won the women's championship for the first time. <laughs> and this past week on Raw, Lita, she said she's got victories over Trish and Jacqueline the last two weeks. So she has pretty much named herself, I am facing the winner of this match and I think she's got every right. She beat the women's champion, she beat the former women's champion, the number one contender. You're damn right she deserves a shot. Fair enough, Trish and Jackie both got involved in those matches and helped Lita win, but she still won and that's what matters. Still got two back-to-back -back handicap matches to come. Austin versus the Radicals. The Rock versus the McMahons for the WWF Championship. And we now know, showing the McMahons backstage there, they have made their match no disqualifications. I wonder who that benefits. Ah, it's Dawn, Jackie. That match being made, no disqualification. Something tells me it won't be a handicap match. Vince and Shane versus Rock. Something tells me it's going to be Vince, Shane, Bossman and Albert versus Rock. As Trish now up to that middle rope and a big splash. Usually Jackie we always see doing that. And Trish... Obviously hoping to win that title to, or retain that title tonight. She would love to make it all the way to WrestleMania with it. And, oh, There's Jackie with a the knee there. And, God, Trish back to it. It's been quite a eventful night, I must say. DX back together as a team. We saw them get a victory. Kurt Angle and Jericho had a hell of a match. Kurt Angle retaining the European title. Godfather going through. Albert retaining his Intercontinental title. Crowning new tag team champions. As Trish looked like she was thinking DDT there. But caught and brought down. And now sent right into that barricade. And whoa, Trish. And oh, wait a minute. And, oh, God. I mean, to see if that barrier reacted like the ring ropes do, that would have looked so cool. We're at a count of five here, Jackie. You don't get your title back on a count out. That's what we thought was going to happen in the Intercontinental Championship match. We're at a count of seven. I don't think Jackie realises. 
Count of eight. Jackie, you need to get on the ring. Jackie's in the ring. Jackie, you don't win the title that way. And Jacqueline, what did you just do? You dumbass. And Jacqueline has finally realised. She just effed up. Jacqueline's just realised what she done. She didn't win the title. Trish is laughing. And she's just realised she's still the champion. Jacqueline, what did you just do? How could you have been so stupid? It's like the first rule of a title match. How could you have made that mistake? Jacqueline, as Trish walks up the ramp with the Women's Championship belt waving bye-bye, Jackie has just realised that she completely screwed up. What did you just do? My God, man, Jackie. Oh, Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Oh, well, that's that one over. On to the next one, I guess. Oh, thank God the entrances are working for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's handicap time. One of two, as here come those radicals. Chris Benoit on your left, Perry Saturn on your right, and Latino Heat Eddie Guerrero in the middle. This all began because Austin eliminated Benoit in the Royal Rumble. I just realised I was meant to have a match between Big Show and Test on this event. Son of a bitch. <laughs> How did I forget about that? Wow, I'm dumb. Alright. We'll see if I remember to fix that. Okay, yeah. Uh, God, I'm stupid. I forgot all about that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the radicals. This is me not adding up matches properly. Well, you piss off with your stupid game. Well, here he comes. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Royal Rumble winner. Well, this man... Now, wait a minute. He's stopped on the entranceway. He's got a mic said... Do you think this is a handicap match? What's that supposed to mean? Is Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's... I think Austin... Austin's brought back up. He's brought back up for this match. It's Agent Christian. Agent Christian. This is not a handicap match. It's a six man. Austin has brought back up with him. The Radicals. They're, they're all in the ring. They're all in the ring. Wait, what's... Is the, the, the referee referee rings the bell and gets out of the way. It's, it's meant to be a tag match. And we'll forget the tags. They're all going at it. There's Austin hitting anything that can move. I recommend Edge. Agent Christian, stay away from him. Austin doesn't care. Well, it looks like Austin, Mr. DTA. It looks like tonight he's trusting two people. <clears throat> and that is Edge and Christian. As Austin to the outside with Benoit. And Benoit getting sent off the barricade as Perry Saturn. Just dropped Christian there. God, still getting sent in the barricade. Now, Austin. And oh. And no. Oh, God, look at Perry in the ring. Takes Christian down. Benoit sends Austin a big DDT by Edge. And oh. And oh. It's like the Royal Rumble all over again. As Austin has got Benoit on his own. In the middle of the ring, Christian. Going after Saturn. Saturn, though, turned it on him. As watch out for Eddie. As Eddie. And oh! 
There's Austin. Laying in with the right hands. Benoit though. And oh, a DDT there. And oh, down goes Saturn. And Austin going right back after Benoit. That's all he wants is Benoit to hell with the other ones. And Austin just pounced on him. Let's look at Saturn and Eddie, they don't want to get in the ring. As he lays the punches as Austin now going middle rope here. And God, right on him. It's Austin, man. Not giving a crap. He is all over Benoit. It's Benoit. And oh, Benoit with a suplex drops Austin on his neck. God. As Saturn now, Agent Christian outnumbered here. As Saturn, oh, with a neck breaker there. And God, I've got Christian on his own here. Christian trying to do something here, but he is completely outnumbered. As, oh, wait a minute, Austin, back into the ring here. As he drops one, drops two. Drops three. Austin will hit anything that damn well moves. As Austin just tired himself out as Christian rolls out of a pin. As Edge now. Oh! And Edge. Austin picked him up for him. And oh, an electric chair. Oh, Eddie, you need to concentrate more. And God, it is a beatdown happening here. And Austin put some oomph in that one. It's Benoit, I don't think Benoit. And oh! And Benoit didn't see Austin there. It's Austin. He's taking Benoit. Up high and look at Edge. Looks like he might be thinking Spear. There's a superplex. And there's the Spear. And the pin is in. And Austin, Edge and Christian win. A cheap shot by Benoit. That was about all over the place. That was just an absolute brawl. There was the impale of DDT. Oh, you should have concentrated, Eddie. And right here, he jumped right over Benoit and speared Eddie out of his boots. And Austin, Mr. DTA, he trusted two men tonight. And he got the better of the Radicals tonight. And now Austin, he can sit back, he can chill, and he can watch. As obviously he's going to have his eyes on the main event. Who will Austin face? Who will Austin be taking on? I need to double. One, two, three, four. How did I bugger that up? 
Oh, that's how I buggered it up. All right, I see what I did. Never mind. Anyway, people, let's move on. <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, glitch, no entrances, as here we go, and The Rock goes through Shane, and Vince though right on to him, as The Rock instantly grabs Vince, sends him out of the ring, and right on to Shane, and just like that, it's one on one, and before this match kicked off, The Rock took care of Bossman. And Albert Batter, what are you doing, you tit? Why did you run in the other direction? And Shane with a big elbow there. And oh, drops one. And just sandwiched Vince into the corner. We all know he loves a sandwich. As round again and The Rock is taking it to them. And oh, put his body through that one. And Shane though, uppercut. And Vince though, right on to him. And roll the rock. Dropped him down, he's got a sharp shooter in. He had to let it go there, Shane getting a bit too close for comfort. And oh god, elbow there, and drop Shane again. As The Rock is in a pissed off mood, he took care of boss man, he took care of Albert. And as I said before, we had another match scheduled for tonight, but due to flight conflicts, Test was unable to be here tonight. That's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. And oh, the Rock's got the equaliser with a steel chair. And oh, oh God! And the Rock just floored Shane. And comes Vince, and down goes Vince. And well, oh, Shane, it would block that one there. And oh, the neck breaker. And oh, he gets him again. But oh, and Vince with a knee. But still no. As Vince and a spine buster. And a big knee. God, the rock is tired. He is tired. As he quickly bails out of the ring, can you blame him? The rock knows he's got to figure out a plan here. As he tries to keep some distance and figure out what he's doing right now. And The Rock, as he's got another steel chair, and down goes Shane! Whoa! And he runs the wrong way again. And he aimed at the wrong person again. And oh god! And, and Shane though drops him. And just like that, it's not looking good as he scoops the rock up, bounces him right off the top rope. And Shane now thinking high risk. And, 
Oh my god, that drop kick. And look at Vince instantly pounces on him to choke him. And oh! <laughs> but look at Vince, man. God, right on to him. And God, man, the rock is in a bad way. Is he able to roll to the outside there? And down goes Shane. And oh, a sledgehammer. As God, he's trying to do anything and everything he can. As he floors Vince again. As, oh God, he's got Vince. He's got Vince. Shane is in the ring and he's got Vince on the announcer's table and rock bottom right through the announcer's table and he might have just taken Mr McMahon out of this match as they're back into the ring now and the rock catches Shane with a neck breaker Vince is down Vince is getting up. Shane and Rock all getting up. As the Rock. Rock bomb. What are you doing? What? I didn't even press it and, and he picked him up and got reversed automatically. How fucking stupid is this game? Oh, good God. Vince and Shane were both rock bottomed. Shane's wasn't as bad as Vince's. And oh, down goes Shane. And down goes Vince. And down goes Shane! And, oh, Vince! It went blocked that one! Oh my god, they can't do anything right! And just like that, he's getting ganged up on again! It's Vince now! It's the Rock! And he floors Shane. And he floors Vince. And he sends him out the ring. And oh, he's watching you. He's watching you, Shane. And Shane, rock bomb. The rock bomb connects. It's only them in the ring. It's the rock. Hooks the leg! Referee count! One! Two! And The Rock has got his title back! And The Rock is going to WrestleMania! God, he had a sharpshooter in Vince on the outside. How no one bled in this amazes me. And then Vince put through the announcer's table. Of course it was Shane. And Shane was too busy dancing. And he got another rock bottom. They screwed him out of his title two weeks ago. He told them 
He was getting it back. He told Vince he was going to whoop his ass at the massacre. And that's exactly what he done. We know who our Royal Rumble winner is. We know who the champion is. Ladies and gentlemen, we are one month away from WrestleMania. And it will be The Rock versus Stone Cold Steve Austin in the main event of WrestleMania. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I apologize about the big show and test match, but as far as I'm concerned, test missed his flight. So we'll renew that rivalry on Raw. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, this was the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. The Rock is the WWF Champion once again. And he laid an ass whipping on those McMahons. Vince and Shane tried to screw him and all they got was an ass kicking instead. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow night on Raw is War. I'll see you in the next episode.